Hey guys, welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. This is your friend, Brother Jay. Picking up on Episode 4, Part 2. And uh, we're going to go see Nerissa in the security office. Uh, doesn't... Doesn't seem to be a way to skip the uh, intro sequence, so... Just bear with me, y'all. Okay, and sheep's clothing. Hi, Nerissa. Hi, Sheriff. Hey, you Hi, looking Nerissa. fine, girl. Oh my God! If I didn't know what you did for a living. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, that was not my kind of girl. Hmm. Okay. So, uh, what's going on? You. Obviously, don't come here often. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Don't be fooled by this. I didn't get the worst of it. <laughs> no, you know what? He's just gonna Not waste this one, too. Not many people smoke those. Well, screw it. We're all smoking now. Brown. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Nah. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. And you found a way to tell me. You said to right. open arms. Maybe that'll work again. Well, if you take that ribbon off, I bet well, you, you can, can tell me whatever. I just... Go ahead. It might work you're here because the crooked man just sent crane to the bottom of my list of worries you have something you want to say about that right these lips are sealed if i could answer you just like that i wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you no mm -hmm. that's true. just not sometimes we have to find our way through life on our own Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. Okay, I'm gonna move but this now, over here. <laughs> they're gone. You guys are getting obscured. And I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Certainly am. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... Sorry if I'm wasting your time. You're not. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? I knew it. I knew it, and I knew it, and we can't take it off either. Or can we? Can't. 
Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. All right, so okay. Please. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off, they die. It's okay. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Snow doesn't knock like that. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I won't tell anyone. Don't worry. Thank you. No, it is Snow. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. I, wait, you don't have to go. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she does, actually. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. Yeah, I think what I understand. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Good work. Yep, that's what I was thinking. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. Why is this elevator this so before slow? Before something else happens, who knows what? Huh. I have other matters to attend to. Like what? Okay, I understand she's mayor now, but that was kind of weird. And you didn't want to tell me what you were into either. With good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? Hey guys. Guys, I'm here. Quit arguing. Oh. What do you want? Well... You're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Why wouldn't you call me? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Yeah. I... So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Well, I'm sorry, man, but... Who is it? Who's there? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. All right, well, you guys go argue some more, and I'm going to just 
make myself at home. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What are you doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we mm. can trust him. Not Talk about way. living in the past. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money. And answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later. But we need to talk to Bigby. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Okay, guys. I'm just staring at your painting. Sorry. It's been a long night. Yeah. You know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I want to know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? I thought you were having money problems. But it doesn't look like you're suffering to me. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, We so... should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. I can protect you, but only if you tell me what I need to know. And that means details. No more stonewalling. We aren't. And just tell me what's going on here. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Lived like me? What are you trying to say, beast? Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> and hey, we can't come to the phone done right here. now, so I leave should... a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the Crooked Man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed out of some poor fable. But never the Crooked Man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. 
I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Sometimes, fables just don't have anywhere else to go. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the Crooked Man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. Well, what are you delivering? What's going on there? How does this fit into the Crooked Man's operation? I couldn't tell you. But I do know this. It's the only meat market in town that doesn't carry filet. I'm not sure how much actual butchery goes on there. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. You're damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just wanted guys, to provide for I, uh... beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. No. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. Fuck off. There are a lot of fables who have it a lot worse off than you. Or me, for that matter. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. <sighs> Decision time. All right. I think I'm gonna go to the butcher shop. I want to know what the crooked man is hiding at that butcher shop. You know, Bigby, once you show up there, word is gonna spread. There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pawn after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Uh, I've got. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the crooked man, but is there any way you could? help us out what do you mean well maybe you can make this all just go away we would really appreciate it what do you say can you help us out I'll handle it I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives oh thank you Big B I'm sure you'll do the right thing you better believe it Sorry for messing up your face there, buddy. Alright, guys. Uh, this is where we're going to end this part. And we're going to go ahead and get started on the next part right after this. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. It's starting to heat up. Uh, hopefully I don't run into Bloody Mary here. I'm not quite healed up yet. But anyway, uh, leave a like. Give me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.